This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today we'll chat about New York possibly losing its free parking, the simple reason many electric vehicles remain banned in the Big Apple, and a new electric scooter creating a buzz. Now here's the latest in all things mobility. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. Nice. You scored free street parking in New York City. That'll be six grand. Thank you very much. New York City is trying to clean up its act by tightening its free parking rules. In many parts of the city, street parking is technically free, though you better be quick to snag any open spot you can. This parking free for all leads to congestion and confusion as cars hunt for spaces and idling cars guard prized spots. A Bloomberg News story crunched the numbers to see exactly how much a curbside spot in Manhattan should cost if used for something else. Our favorite calculation involved factoring in that one square foot of Manhattan real estate runs an average of $684. With a parking spot taking up 119 square feet, the total comes to a whopping $6,132 per year. NYC is thankfully considering a number of ways to promote public transportation and lessen traffic. Yes, yeah, six grand for parking would definitely have us hopping onto a bus or subway. New York City recently hit the brakes on a proposal to legalize e-scooters and electric bikes. So what's the beef? Well, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo wasn't pleased the bill omitted helmet rules. Cuomo called helmet usage a common sense requirement, and without it, he vetoed the boneheaded measure. Rules for e-bikes and scooters vary widely around the country. In LA, for example, you don't need a helmet, but you do need a valid driver's license, speeds can't exceed 15 miles per hour, and driving on sidewalks is prohibited. And if you have visited LA recently, you know how loosely these rules are enforced. While billionaire Manhattanite families in matching Canada Goose jackets probably don't need to zip around in e-scooter style, this impasse has a far bigger impact on New York's delivery riders. Many rely on e-bikes to do their jobs, and they currently run the risk of hundreds of dollars worth of fines for using them, as if getting food delivered in the city wasn't already expensive enough. The Dragonfly luxury scooter is creating serious buzz, and full disclosure, I will not apologize for the next couple of insect-related puns I am about to unleash on you. For starters, you might bug out when you learn each Dragonfly electric scooter costs $4,999. That price certainly raised my antenna. You see, that's it, just two. You were probably expecting a swarm of puns, weren't you? <laughs> Each of the 500 launch edition Dragonfly scooters comes with three wheels, traction control, yes, traction control, a top speed of 38 miles per hour, four drive modes, Bluetooth, and a four and a half inch high definition screen. It's 2020, every speedometer needs to have an HD screen now. And that isn't even the top model. The Primo Dragonfly costs six grand, comes with four wheels, and up to 28 miles of range. D-Fly Group, the company behind these mean machines, calls them hyper scooters. And despite the oxymoronic name, we still want to try one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech. Be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. New York City is trying to clean up its act by tightening its... This parking free-for-all also leads to congestion and confusion as cars hunt for spaces in and I think I need to take out the also. That sentence doesn't quite make sense. This parking free-for-all leads to congestion and confusion as cars hunt for spaces and idling cars guard pride spots. Did I say that weird? Prized spots. This parking free-for-all leads to congestion, confusion, and confusion. Nope, it's not a list. It was two things. <laughs> This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.